cool. Let's talk about the winners, okay, in this market right now. Number one on the list is homeowners, okay? Homeowners, uh, I got to tell you, I, I've overheard uh, realtors, I've overheard attorneys, I've overheard so many people talk about this brand new Rhode Island housing program for buyers where the buyers get a grant of $17,000. $500 and they can purchase a property anywhere from single family, multifamily, or a condo up to about 550K. Look, sellers are benefiting the most. You have a low supply and now they have just unleashed literally thousands of buyers into the market that are now going after such a limited supply of inventory. Sellers are number one right now. Think about all of those sellers that are now selling, pulling all that equity out. We're sitting on mountains of equity, more equity than we've ever sat on before. Think about those sellers are going to take their money and boom, reinvest it. And sellers are number one. They get the number one most benefit. The next one is going to be landlords, okay? Now, landlords have a massive benefit here. Uh, right now. And the benefit is, is that they're also sellers. Landlords are able to sell that two to four unit property or the condo or the single family home. They're able to take that money, put it into a 1031 exchange, okay, where they shelter that income from taxes. And they go ahead and kick that can down the road of paying taxes and reinvest that money into a bigger property with more cash flow. Now, the next person on the list is going to be cash investors. Cash investors can go out there and they can purchase a property. In some cases, it could be an estate sale. It could be a divorce. It could be a distressed type of situation where the house needs more work than is able to be put on and shown on the conventional type of market. Buy a house cash for a reasonable price. Turn it around and make a reasonable profit. You are hitting the market while the market is, again, hopefully going to continue to escalate for a bit. The next one on the list is going to be number four in line is going to be first time buyers. Now, first time buyers right now have an amazing opportunity here in Rhode Island. Here in Rhode Island, I can tell you the $17,500 first time home buyer grant works for not only first time buyers, but get this, if you have not owned a home in the past three years, you qualify in many cases, most cases to be a first time home buyer. Now keep in mind, if you're buying a two to a four unit property, 100% financing, zero out of pocket at the end by the time you get to the closing table, okay? You're not paying closing costs. You're not paying for your down payment assistance and uh, your down payment in most all cases, okay? 100% financing through Rhode Island Housing. I'm going to jump to one last party I want to talk about here. Owner-occupied home buyers, okay? These are FHA, 3.5% down. 5%, 10%, 20% conventional buyers, cash buyers. Listen, you now have the opportunity to make, especially FHA buyers, to make your offer and contingencies look that much better than Rhode Island housing buyers. So it's enticing now to go in as FHA or conventional and sellers may uh, value a quicker closing time with fewer contingencies. Something to keep in mind if you were losing out on offers in the past. I do have to mention developers. Developers are in a very good spot too because of the lack of housing and the need of housing. And always literally the way they appraise new construction, even if the market dips, which it's not right now, um, is, is the cost to build these properties. Okay. So you, when you're building in certain areas, you kind of insulate yourself. And when you're targeting certain markets, um, certain types of buyer demographics, you are able to, um, really, you know, to hedge against loss.